Welcome to This Week in Crowder College, an in-depth look into how Crowder College students, faculty, and staff are working together so students soar to new heights, communities are impacted, and lives are changed. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the Law Offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show, specializing in workers' compensation, personal injury, social security disability, and more. Learn more online at neoshowattorney.com. Now here's this week's edition of This Week in Crowder College. Hey there, Four States. This is Luke Taylor, and welcome to another edition of This Week in Crowder College. Today we have on the phone with us, we're speaking with Brandy Arthur. She's the athletic director over there at Crowder. And uh, hey, Brandy, it's good to talk to you again. Uh, hey, Luke. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so... Um, Here we are. I know y'all have hit the ground running at a new semester, uh, the fall semester here at Crowder. And what what can fans of Crowder Athletics expect for this upcoming season? Um, You know, I think that fans can expect for Crowder to compete um, in every sport that we play. Um, You know, our kids work hard. Our coaches work hard. um, You know, they'll they'll they can expect success for sure. Hmm. Yeah. And and I know you all have a soccer program and golf. and, And tell us about what all you all are doing this this fall. Uh, in the fall, we have men's and women's soccer that are competing. We have men's and women's cross country um, and men's and women's golf. So we're we're pretty busy right now in the fall. Yep. Yeah, something for the guys and the girls. Because I, I don't when I was there, and this was several years ago, but I, I know they had a, a men's soccer, but I don't think they had a women's back then. Is that a newer one? Um, that's correct. Women's soccer was added two years ago. This is our third year to compete in women's soccer. Okay. Well, hey, that's exciting. And so, um, yeah. So I know soccer is people will be able to come in and watch those games. When it comes to stuff like the golf matches, um, are are they able to to come out to those tournaments too, or how does that work? We don't host any golf tournaments on campus. Um, all of our golf tournaments are away tournaments. Um, it's something that someone could travel to if they wanted to. Um, however, they can follow virtually almost every tournament. We post a link on our athletics Facebook page where you can watch live scoring of all of our golf tournaments. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's really cool for them to be able to do that. So that's through the Crowder.edu website? Uh, it's Crowder College Athletics Facebook page. Oh, through the Facebook page. Okay. Well, that, so that's uh-huh. a way people can yep. keep up with what the, what the golf team is doing. And then um, the soccer uh-huh. matches, I'm sure, are also pretty exciting to, to come and watch. Oh, yeah. Um, You know, our soccer teams are are, are successful. Our men's team was actually Region 16 champions last year for the very first time. Um, So we're excited to see them follow that up this year with a strong season. Um, Our games typically out here are in the afternoons around 2 o'clock, usually for the women, and around 4 o'clock for the men. Um, On the weekends, it's a little bit earlier, usually around noon and 2 for those same contests. I will say most of our soccer um, matches are streamed on Huddle. Um, so if you can look up um, Huddle fans and find Crowder College, you'll be able to stream those games as well. Okay. Yes, I do know. I know about that Huddle website as well. So um, that's great that you all have that for the soccer program. And um, yeah, the 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 uh, soccer program. I remember that's something when when I was a student out there, a lot of students were were there because they wanted to play for Crowder or soccer. So that that is definitely a draw, I think, for attracting new students. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, I would say 90% of our kids that are in our athletic programs are here because our teams are so well respected and so well known. Mm. Um, we have around 200 kids in our athletic programs this year. Um, you know, we're excited to see that growth. Um, and of course, we love having them here on campus. All right. Well, we've been speaking today with Brandy Arthur, and I think she's giving giving you a good overview of what fans of Crowder Athletics can be paying attention to for this fall, and also where you can go online if you want to keep up with what the students are doing. And so, um, this has been Luke Taylor with this week in Crowder College. And hey, Brandy Arthur, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you, Luke. Thanks for covering Crowder Athletics. Thank you for listening to This Week in Crowder College. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the Law Offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show. You can listen to this broadcast again by going online to kneo.org or to crowder.edu. Tune in once again next week for another edition of This Week in Crowder College on KNEO 91.7 FM.